The definition of a network is actually quite simple in general. It's a system of interconnected things. But what does this mean in the computer context? Let's look at some types of networks as an analogy. We've got the rail network, the phone network, and we've also got the postal network. When we think about these, what do all of them have in common? What we are doing is sending something from one place to another. Let's look at the rail network as an example. We've got stations and we've got people who want to go from one station to another. In reality, these stations are all linked together with railway tracks. So what you've got are the elements of a network joined by links, in this case, stations and tracks. Instead of people and trains, when we think about computer networks, we are essentially sending data, for example, a photo, temperature data, or message between digital devices through networks. There are some smart cities around the world that use smart technologies, sensors, and data analytics that create interconnected networks. Imagine a smart city like being a big puzzle where different pieces like sensors, computers, and devices talk to each other to make everything run smoothly. These pieces collect information about things like traffic, air quality, and energy use. They send this information to a big invisible cloud where it's all stored and analyzed using special computer programs. How do these pieces in the network communicate? They're like friends chatting over the internet, sharing what they've found out. Some pieces might use Wi-Fi like your phone does to connect to the internet at home. Others might use different ways to talk, like sending messages through radio waves or using cables. Anything that is connected to a computer network is considered what we call a node. Nodes can include things like PCs, laptops, modems, printers, sensors, phones, tablets, IoT devices, and any special network hardware. Anything that is connected to the network is considered to be a node. These various nodes in a network help to direct your message to the right place. Every computer that's connected to the network has an address, and special hardware called routers can work out where to send your information based on the address that you started from and the address you're going to. You may not have ever seen these address numbers before because very fortunately for us, there's a service that allows us to use names that are easy for humans to use, such as a website URL, which are then turned into numbers that computers can use. The important thing is that all these pieces understand each other so that they can work together. Just like you and your friends might speak different languages, these pieces use special codes and rules to talk to each other. This way, they can share information and help make decisions to make our communication and projects like smart cities better for everyone.